guys, it's Mr. Vince, and today I'm going to be testing out almost every single gun and the other kind of weapon in Jailbreak. Now, keep that in mind, we are not going to be doing the Nerf guns because, well, they're pretty much the same thing, except they're just different designs and they're just different weapons. Before I continue on today's video, it would help me a lot if you subscribe to the channel, and uh, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you never want to miss a video. It's encouraged that you do so, or else you will probably miss a video that you probably might enjoy. So the first weapon we are going to be testing out is called the pistol. Now the pistol is an obvious weapon, but this one is a little interesting. There are two different variants of the pistol in Jailbreak, the normal pistol and the silenced pistol, also known as the swap pistol. They're both very identical, except they both contain different sounds. Now, of course, because they don't have actual sound, this is probably going to be an issue for me to like show you guys how it plays. So in this video, I'm not actually going to be playing the sound. I'm rather instead testing out its stats and all of that. So let me go ahead and continue on. So before I move on, let me go ahead and join my alt so that way we can use them as a test. So uh, I will be right back as soon as I get that finished. All right, so my alt account has finally arrived, as you can see. However, he is currently not, you know, moving around. That's because he's currently loading into the game. We're going to be doing this with both pistols because, well, I got my ult here, and he does not have the Swirl King Pass, and because of this, we're going to have to offer him a normal pistol, so that way you guys can see what it looks like. And uh, don't worry, because uh, we are planning to, like, test them out. It will take a couple of seconds for me to get ready. So uh, expect that to be ready, and uh, there we go, we got it in. So let me start off with, you know, my alt account. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pickpocket on my alt, so that way I can actually uh, show you guys what the uh, default pistol is like. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't get a key card. I actually got a key card. It will take a bit. And uh, please do not do this in real life because it's probably not necessary. So yeah. Now let me go ahead and just keep doing it until I get a pistol. All right, there we go. So uh, over here. We got the swap pistol, and over on my alt, we got something called the normal pistol. These two are extremely similar, except their design is slightly different. So let's start with the normal pistol. As you can see on the looks of the normal pistol, it's slightly shorter, as you can see, in terms of length. And as you can see, it's just an ordinary pistol. Now, it's supposedly based off of the M9, and it does look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Now, how much damage does it deal? Well, let's start with this version of the pistol. Well, it simply deals 15 damage, as you can see. Over here on the swap pistol, it's exactly the same, you know, as the pistol, this one, according to the mechanics and the stats, except the sound is different and the design is also different. Instead of, you know, this kind of pistol, we got this kind of pistol. Now, if without the uh, gun skin on, they both look very identical in terms of, you know, color and all that. The swap pistol is just darker in terms of color, so uh, that's uh, one difference. And also another difference with this, you know, swap pistol is that the suppressed, you know, bullet line thingy where the bullet goes through does not get affected by the gun skin, as you saw. It's just an ordinary look. The regular pistol, on the other hand, it actually does. So if we go ahead and equip the earthquake skin, it kind of does, but similar to the, the suppressed pistol, except only this part, which is not as much compared to the suppressed pistol, but still, that's pretty impressive. Let me go ahead and remove it once again. There we go. And by the way, I am using my computer for this. So you have eight ammo or magazine for the pistol and it deals simply 15 damage, which is extremely normal. Now, of course, you can easily cheese someone with this as it takes about 105 damage to simply oop someone with this. So that is a pretty good amount, but it's not that good in terms, you know, accuracy. Originally, the pistol used to be the worst weapon in the game as it had very bad accuracy and used to have a bad recoil. But that was completely fixed in September update, so it's now among the best weapons in the game, as it has very accurate accuracy, as we saw. And it only takes about one second to reload, which actually isn't that long. So that concludes the pistol, and that indeed is a very good weapon. 
It is also the only weapon you will start with aside from the rifle if you have the boss or the swap game passes. And now we're going to move on to the shotgun. The shotgun, similar to the pistol, can be obtained through playstations, etc. Armories, all that. However, you do need to buy it from gun shops as it's only 1,000 cash. When the shotgun was first released, it used to have a very different model, and it did look pretty different. But then it was changed to, like, this kind of model. Then it was changed to this model, the model we low and love today. So let me go ahead and explain. Now, when the shotgun was first on sale in August 2018, which was when it was no longer free, it used to be free, but it's actually now purchasable, it used to be 40000 cash which was extremely expensive now it's only like 1000 the people who did buy the shotgun before that change got refunded 39000 so 100% uh, refund value which is only the 1000 off because it's 1000 so that's pretty obvious now how much damage it deals well it depends on how far you are so if you're at close range the max is 30 if you're at far range it's probably a little harder but it can still be possible. So like that one's 15, this one's nothing, this one is nine. So depending on how far you go, it will not deal a lot of damage. So that one was three. So the lowest they can get is three. The September update made the shotgun have its bullet spread because well, it has to be more realistic, right? That's good, but also not that sufficient for players who do these shotguns. When the shotgun was first released, it used to have four ammo. Now it has five in the August 2018 winter update. I'm sorry, the 2018 update. The August 2018 one, uh, update, so yeah. I almost said winter update there, but yeah, it wasn't the 2018 winter update, it was the 2018 August update, my correction. But yeah, the highest amount of damage possible on this is 30. If you're at very close range, it will be easier. If you're at very far range, the minimum is three. So that concludes, well, the shotgun. So while we're at it with the weapons, all the weapons can be obtained from gun shops. So you do not need to like, you know, head over to an armory to get the guns. If you're at the police HQ, this is easier. So uh, that's, that's good to know. And while we're at it, let me go ahead and pick up my alt account. So that way I can like easily show you guys more stuff. But apparently I have to actually walk over here. There we go. And we're gonna take you uh, take this guy to the town gun shop so I can show you guys the rest of the weapons, excluding the nerf guns. Since they're pretty much the exact same as, you know, the ones we usually see. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the next set. So, the next one is called the rifle. Now, the rifle is the, is the third weapon ever released to jailbreak. And before an update that added the AK-47, those were the only three weapons in the game. Now, as you expected, the rifle had a lot of changes in its history. So, it was pretty powerful, but it was greatly nerfed for unknown reasons. It has 30 ammo, but originally it had 20, but it was changed in the 2018 August update, when they added the boss game pass. Now, of course, it does have a good reload time, unlike the shotgun, as it takes a pretty long time. Slightly longer than the pistol, as I forgot to mention that. But how much damage does it deal? Well, due to its incredible firing rate, it only deals 5 damage, but just like the pistol, you can easily cheese someone with the rifle with full ammo capacity. It does not have a bad recoil either, so it's pretty good, a lot better than the pistol, so that's pretty pretty good. You can only get it if you have the ball scheme pass or the swap game pass. And originally the rifle was obtainable in gun shops, and now it is obtainable, so you do not need to like go to a criminal base to get one now, which is a good thing. The next one is the AK-47, and this one is similar to the rifle, except it slightly is better. Like, it deals one extra damage, which is six. However, it has a slower firing, but not a lot slower. And it's basically the rifle, but it's just slightly better in terms of damage. But for the uh, firing rate, not that fast. But other than that, everything else is exactly the same. And in the gun shop, if I'm not mistaken, it's about 10,000. So it's pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Now on my alt account, if we go over to, well, the gun shop, I don't think I have the AK. But if we look over here, well, surprisingly, it only costs 15,000. So it's not that expensive. The next one we have in the list is once again, another good gun called the Uzi. The Uzi was introduced in the fire truck update back in 2019. 
Well, as you guessed it, it's pretty good for its price. And a lot of people love the Uzi because of its incredible amount of damage and its good firing rate. The Uzi has the best firing rate as well as reloading, and it deals 6 damage just like the rifle. Well, the AK-47, I guess. Not the rifle. But yeah, now I really love this weapon because it has a good reloading rate, firing rate, and it has a good amount of damage. So that concludes the Uzi. And uh, it's actually not that expensive. It's only 25000 So yeah, now it is not the most expensive in the list, but it's still a good weapon nevertheless. The next weapon we have in the list is the Revolver. Now the Revolver is similar to, well, well, the AK in terms of fire rate, but a little slower. So it's like a pistol, just slightly worse. But because of its less, you know, ammo capacity, which only has six instead of eight compared to the pistol, it deals 25 damage per hit. It is possible to ooze someone within like, you know, all your bullets. However, it takes five hits for the player to ooze if they are regenerating or four if they don't. So yeah, so that equals 100, as you can tell. However, it has a slightly slower reloading time compared to the pistol, so it's a little longer for its reload, and it's slightly slower in fire rate. So it's not really a bad weapon, but it's not that good either. And in the shop, it's only 10,000, so it's not that expensive. You used to be able to get this in the museum as a criminal, but as of the November 2020 update, you no longer need to go to the museum to get it, you can get it in gun shops. The next weapon is the flintlock, and it I believe it's 10,000 if I'm not mistaken. Now, apparently, this weapon is pretty strong, not gonna lie. But unfortunately, the bad news is my alt account does not have a lot of health, so we're gonna need the force field to heal ourselves. But it's a very good weapon. I really love using the flintlock because of its incredible damage, as you can tell. Among the best, just slightly behind the, the sniper, if long range. At any range, the flintlock will always deal 60 damage. It does not have a very bad recoil, so this makes it a great weapon, not gonna lie. It takes two hits to ooze someone because it deals 60 damage, so it requires two hits. If the person has more than 60 health, then they are able to live one shot of a flintlock. Not only that, it also pierces through, but I do not have enough players to do so because I only have two players here. Me and my alt, so yeah. So yeah, it's only 10,000 I believe, and it's a good weapon, not gonna lie. The next weapon we have in the list is the Sniper. Now the Sniper is one of the few weapons that require a level, along with the Plasma Pistol. Now, of course, the Sniper is 50,000, making it the most expensive weapon in the game. But for that, the Sniper is extremely useful in most situations. In fact, the sniper is among the only weapons that can actually ooze someone through walls, which is a glitch, apparently. At very long range, it could do more damage. The minimum is 30 and the highest is 80. So let me go way over here, but one thing before I have to like do it, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal myself before I die. But yeah, there we go. So the highest amount you can get, if we go over here, I'm gonna get a little further because well, that's not, you know, farthest. It deals, well, well, if you look, that's 63, which is close, but it's still not the farthest. It actually deals, well, a very good amount of damage. If we go really far from an alt account, as long as we don't fall in the water, we can see that it deals a very high amount of damage. So at this point, that would be 72. It's still impressive, but it, we're still not, you know, far enough to deal the full the potential to use the sniper. And originally, the sniper used to not have an actual limitation on its range. Now it does because of how overpowered it was back then. Now, originally, the sniper was founded in the bank, but you no longer need to go in the bank as you can go in the gun shop. So if we run over here and we sniper here, then the highest is, well, if we look, well, actually that won't work, you have to get really close here. It actually deals a max of 80 damage. Now that was 75, that was very close, but that wasn't enough for us to test that. We gotta get a little closer 
to well our alt. Now I'm I'm probably gonna go over here because this makes it easier. Although this probably isn't you know, the best spot, but we're gonna do it anyways. And because of its uh, like limitation on its range, um, it's gonna be a little hard to like snipe at far ranges. But luckily this should be possible to like see. So because of my graphics, it'll be easier. The max mount is 80, as you can see. So it takes two hits to kill one player with a close, you know, call without like any issues. And as you saw, my alt count died from two hits from the sniper if we were extremely far away. Like I said, there is actually a limit in the range of the sniper. So it's not always going to be like, you know, very far away. Creecraft made a video talking about how overpowered it was for the sniper last year. But sadly, because he plays Piggy, we don't really like seeing him play Jailbreak now. Occasionally, as far as I can tell, he does kind of make Jailbreak videos, but of course, due to trolls and all that, he moved on to Piggy. And I see the reason. But that concludes the sniper. And the sniper is, if not, probably the most overpowered weapon in the game, as it deals the most amount of damage being 80. Now at that range, that won't work. We have to be like here. Well, that won't work either. We have to get here and then uh, it'll count as you can see. So uh, yeah, now because of the glitch, sometimes it doesn't register, other times it will. So uh, here we still can't damage it, but of course that's probably because the bullet is probably going the wrong way because the crosshair may not correctly point towards my hole. I have to get a little closer. I think it's like uh, about, I guess here, let me, uh, let me check. Okay, that's accurate, but still doesn't register because we're too far away. There we go, okay, 80, and then we can oof him again. We're not gonna oof him though, because uh, for the purpose of this video, we're testing out guns and its damage. But even with that, like the flintlock, the sniper only has one ammo capacity. Because of this, it has a pretty long Reloading. The second longest compared with the flintlock being a little shorter compared to it. Not that long, but still pretty long. So yeah, the flintlock for the flint the reloading, it takes four seconds, which is extremely long. So that concludes the rifle. Well, the sniper rifle, technically. The next weapon we have is the plasma pistol. It costs 50,000 among the most expensive as it's just like slightly, you know, equivalent to the sniper. So they're among the most expensive. Now a glitch occurs in the game where if you have a plasma pistol by default, you have 20 out of 10. This is a glitch to me, apparently. Also the plasma pistol used to have 20 ammo capacity, but they changed it to 10 for some reason. And I do not know why. And as you can see, uh, we cheese the monster from the many hits as it deals three damage per hit which again is extremely powerful, but compared to all the other weapons, it is among the worst in the game, just slightly better than the far range version of the shotgun. Now, yes, it always exactly deals free damage and has the worst recoil, unless if you're like, you know, zooming in, it's probably a little easier, as the lightning mostly doesn't register to hit, even if you're actually pointing it at, at far range. At close range, though, it is possible to register, as you saw. But that concludes, well, the plasma pistol. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a good weapon to kill off the force fields, but it's just not that sufficient. And uh, if you equip it again, you have 20 out of 10. Hopefully they fix this glitch, because it's a little weird. Make it at least 20 out of 20, or just reduce it to 10 out of 10. I do not know why this is the case. Next is the force field launcher. It costs 30,000, but you have to be level 3 to get it. If you're not level 3, you can't buy it, even if you have enough money to get it. What it does is allows you to restore a couple health per second. Sometimes it doesn't register properly for other reasons. You are immune to everything inside except for the following. Lasers, fire truck, water, all kinds of stuff. Fire, grenades, C4s, etc. And the amount of time for the force field is not that long either. So yeah, it's good, but it's not really the best option. It is the best out of all of the healing options except for the donut, which in this case heals 30 if you're a police officer or 20 if you are a criminal. So uh, that concludes the force field. You are still immune to force field launchers. <laughs> okay, that's a joke. You are still, however, in you're still vulnerable to rockets, 
making explosives, missiles, grenades, C4s, fire lasers, and museum lasers. A lot of the stuff you're still not immune to. You are not immortal in the force field, as some people can still shoot you. If a bullet hits a force field, it will deflect and hit a random object. So if we stand here and we shoot here, then uh, if we make monster go far away from the force field, if we shoot, there is a chance that monster will actually take damage. This is because the bullet deflects and because of this, it will most likely hit monster if the uh, actual accuracy is properly done properly. And as you saw, I think I hit myself from that. So yeah, now I'm not sure if the damage counts. I don't think it is. I think it's just a glitch or something or an actual feature where it just doesn't count. But as you saw, monster did apparently got hit by the bullet, although it doesn't register the damage. So yeah, it is not possible to shoot through the force field, unfortunately, as you have to be like here to use the force or the guns, whatever. And uh, apologies for my speech, it's just so weird today. So now we're gonna move on to the sword. The baton I'm not gonna count in this video because, well, it's similar to the sword, except the baton doesn't deal as much damage. But yeah, the sword deals a pretty good amount of damage. If I'm not mistaken, it's about seven or 10 if lunging. And the baton is used slightly less damage. And the sword is 20,000 and the baton is free and you can't get it in gun shops, making it the only weapon you cannot get in gun shops. The next weapon we have in the list is a C4. We also have the smoke grenades and the rocket launchers. I will also do grenades in this video too. So let's start off with the C4. Now this weapon is used to troll people apparently. You can place up the two if you are quick and if you explode it, well, you do a pretty good amount of damage. I actually do not know how much damage at max and uh, it's pretty much random. So I think the max is by 20 or something. But that's that, and it holds up to 10 ml, so that's pretty good. And the amount of money you have to spend on a C4 is only 500, like grenades. So next we have in the list is the smoke grenades. Now what they do is, well, blur your screen, but they do not deal damage, making it the only weapon aside from the force field that does not deal damage. If your quality is low, then it is easier to see but your blurring makes it a little harder if you experience it should be easier you can only hold up to three because of well, how overpowered it was so that concludes the smoke grenades next is the grenade and you can hold up to five of course you do need to pay money to actually buy a grenade which is only 500 for smoke grenades they're actually 1200 if you throw a grenade and it explodes everyone in the radius will be affected especially i am Unlike the C4, it does not show how much damage you've dealt. If you're so close to the grenade, you're going to take a big amount of damage. If you're far away and you're still affected, then uh, you will take a pretty good amount of damage. The next weapon we have in the list is, well, the last one in the video. That is the rocket launcher. Now, the rocket launcher is not that expensive compared to the, the uh, Cosmo Pistol and the Sniper. But it is the strongest weapon in the game that consumes ammo. And uh, the rifle, I'm sorry, the sniper rifle is the most overpowered weapon that does not consume ammo. Well, the max amount of damage you can deal is approximately 84, which is extremely strong just for close range. You deal a very high amount of damage. Apparently I have to heal my ult because uh, this one can easily cheese him. So yeah, 70 and uh, it may not always hit the highest, but it is extremely helpful. The forest field monster is not, you know, invulnerable to the rockets along with the C4s and the grenades. But not only that, the rocket launcher is the only launcher that shoots rockets that will emit fire. So yeah, this was the case in the fire truck update, which was made two years ago. So if I spawn the fire truck, you can actually earn a couple of bucks back. So let me go ahead and spawn it. Apparently you have to run far away from your ult to actually spawn the fire truck. So let me go ahead and select it here. There we go. And then in order to use the uh, hose, just, you know, hold G or the, uh, well, the exclamation point button to use it. Originally it was the uh, fire button, but now it's actually the exclamation point. They finally fixed it in an update. Don't remember which one though. 
But yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. I am not going to be including the explosive missiles, nerf guns, or, well, any of those, because, well, they're gonna be really time consuming. But yeah, basically, nerf guns are pretty much the same thing, except their designs are different. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And as always, my name is Mr. Fence. Have a great day, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.